All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores, and this is the first look at the new jerseys. Just to catch y'all up, it's looking like it's pretty much about to be Commanders. A helicopter was outside of the stadium just a few hours ago and was videotaping the outside, and it literally said Commanders on the outside, as you can see on the screen right now. They had all kinds of stuff going on, but what I care the most about are the jerseys that we're about to talk about. But yeah, for those of y'all who was rooting for Commanders, who wasn't rooting for Commanders like me, the name looks like it's going to officially be commanders i mean they even got the take command hashtag going already that's gonna be the hashtag take command but before we dive into these jerseys because i'm really excited actually a little bit better than i thought and i'm really excited about the fact that we got a black one make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately and every time i release an informative and opinionated video just like this one make sure y'all stay tuned i'm gonna do a full-blown reaction and breakdown video when the jerseys and logo name all of that are officially released as well as a live stream later on during the day where i'm gonna open up the phone lines for y'all to call and give y'all opinions on how y'all feel about the jerseys new name and all of that type of stuff so i'm having a video breakdown i'm also gonna have a live stream and then i'm gonna be on my boy protect sports live stream later on that night as well wednesday night so make sure y'all stay tuned for all of the content man without further ado let's get it All right, so first we started with like some leaks of like some merch and stuff like that. We got this Commander's merch. I don't know how true this is, but this logo has been consistent with what I've been seeing around the internet and the three stars at the bottom. That's also been very consistent. So, I mean, it's like 99% Commander's at this point. I mean, there's like a piece of me to still hold out hope for Red Wolves, but it's pretty much Commander's. Unless all of this is just an elaborate scheme, a crazy smoke screen. I mean, they even did all of that work to make it so you can see it from outside the stadium like they have the whole stadium kitted up with commander's gear and all of that then all of the website stuff and the trademark stuff it's commanders y'all and now for the jerseys these look like the home jerseys regular burgundy and the only thing i'm really disappointed about is the shade of yellow like it's not a deep gold like i hope also the burgundy isn't as deep as i hope as well like whatever the shade of burgundy and golds we had with the washington football team those were great and it looks like we're going back to a lighter shade of burgundy and a lighter gold which is almost yellow which is kind of annoying because this jersey literally looks like mcdonald's it literally looks like the mcdonald's jerseys that these players are about to be wearing wearing at the all-star weekend i mean the jerseys themselves don't look bad i actually don't hate the jerseys right here at all only thing i hate is just the shades it literally looks like mcdonald's and i thought we were finally getting away from that the rg3 rookie season mcdonald's kirk cousins mcdonald's then we became the washington football team and then we finally looked like a real deeper burgundy and gold like back in the daryl green days now we're reverting right back to mcdonald's but on the bright side i mean i'm not in love with these white jerseys i feel like these are going to be heavily dependent on what the helmets look like and the pants as well like the whole fit we'll see how it goes this looks like a darker burgundy right here though this doesn't look like a mcdonald's red so i'm surprised that this shade of burgundy is here for the white jersey but not for the mostly burgundy one so i'm pretty confused and then also alluding to the next jersey you see some black in this white jersey i'm assuming these are the away jerseys you got the three stars and the collar like we were already previewed during the making the brand again like i already said but i'm repeating it i'm reiterating reiterating it because it's very important how the helmets match up with this jersey is going to determine whether i like these white ones or not the burgundy ones i'm already just not going to really feel because again it looks like mcdonald's it's mostly because of the shade and not even necessarily the design where this one is more so the design that i'm not loving but i'm really happy that it's something different i prefer for them to do different and i don't love it than for them to just go with something really average and typical and it'd be all right so i'm happy they're taking this risk again if the helmets stack up with this and make the whole fit fine then i'm gonna be really happy by itself on this ugly carpet that it's sitting on the jerseys i but i think depending on what the helmet looks like these can i can end up loving this white jersey and then the moment we've all been waiting for well at least i have 
the black things yes sir we have a black jersey you know how excited i am about that man you see a little bit of the camo it's a whole lot of tributes to the military i mean first of all name is commanders you have one mission on the collar i don't know if we're only gonna wear this during like one month of the season or if these are just like an alternate like a thursday nights monday nights or whatever but i hope we wear these as often as possible because regardless of what the helmet is these are definitely my favorite out of the group out of the burgundies the whites and these this is easily my favorite but i think a lot of things are really going to be determined by the whole entire fit the pants the helmet how that all matches up but isolated this black jersey is definitely my favorite and i'm really happy that they answered my cries they didn't do red wolves the name but they gave us a black jersey and i'm very happy happy and grateful for that man i think we're gonna look really tough because the whole connotation behind the commander's name that they're trying to portray with it being aggressive tough gritty something to be afraid of i think a black jersey fits that perfectly i think it perfectly embodies what feeling they're trying to invoke when you hear the name commander so it feels like it was destiny for us to end up with the black jersey based off of the things they've already said about what the new name will be and how they want people to feel when they hear it but now that it's confirmed commanders and the way that they have it with the army fatigue and you have all of the shout outs to the military and the logo and the name and then the thing on the left side on the right sleeve so i'm really excited man these black jerseys i i love it i love it don't want to nitpick but it's not the perfect black jersey but i'm just really happy to have a black jersey and i feel like they did a good job it's not the best job but it's definitely good enough for me to be happy i'm really excited about these black jerseys man i can't wait to see them on the field and i hope we run them as often as possible and it's not just like a once every year type of thing i hope we run these honestly as our home jerseys forget the burgundy ones go ahead and let this be the home jerseys and then a fan somewhere made up a mock-up of what the field may look like and this is actually pretty nice i'm not mad at it i mean i doubt that this is what this is actually gonna do but if this were to actually happen i'd enjoy this i still think the logo if this for real ends up being our logo is just way too complicated it's a lot going on but this looks pretty cool i mean who knows i mean i feel like they should go ahead and get all the way frisky get all the way creative because they weren't very very creative about much going on in this process this was more so just playing it safe in a lot of ways except for probably the black jersey maybe the white jersey you could say as well everything else was just playing it safe they could potentially you know maybe make the field a little army fatigue not a really heavy dramatic one with different vibrant levels of colors but like a consistently faded low opacity army fatigue for the field like right behind the green i think that would look pretty nice but yeah man definitely get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video are you rocking with the jerseys are you rocking with that potential field design are you rocking with the commander's name at all like i mean since it's pretty much already a done deal were you already a fan of the name and wanted it to be the name or are you like me where you're just to the point where you're starting to get to the acceptance stage and it's like whatever i don't think i'm ever gonna love the name i'm never gonna really embrace the name i'm probably just still gonna call less burgundy and gold like i have been for a while now and just keep it pushing it's not that i necessarily hate the name it's just i don't love the name enough to stop calling us the burgundy and gold but then again our jerseys look like mcdonald's when we have the mostly quote unquote burgundy ones on so really we're not even the burgundy and gold anymore but we'll see but definitely get in the comment section let me know how you feel about all of this discussed in this video everything i showed y'all and like i already said stay tuned tomorrow plenty of content plenty of updates coming when the new name logo all of that comes out i will do a video breaking all of that down and showing y'all everything and then i will also do a live stream in the middle of the day where i open up the phone lines for y'all to call in and give y'all opinions on everything so definitely stay tuned for all of this upcoming content man i'm excited and of course man i appreciate all of the support man shouts out to all of my sponsors especially my provo sponsors who name you see scrolling on the screen right now man i really appreciate y'all i'll catch y'all later i'm out